Well, a couple of you asked for a tutorial on my corners first method for solving the Rubik's Cube, so I decided to give it a shot and uh, show you my technique. Uh, I'm going to assume you probably already know how to solve the first side, uh, just the first layer, which I usually approach corners first by placing the corners onto the white side. After the corners, we place edge pieces. Okay, so after we have that first side, we start doing some algorithms. I couldn't put those on top of the video, so you'll have to see those in the comments section. Uh, the first one's going to be the corner swap and what we have to do is make sure that all these corners are in the proper places and to check that we want to get two non-yellow colors side by side which will be the two greens here and move those up to the greens now you see that the green orange matches the green orange corner and the green red matches the green red corner so those two are okay now we'll look up here the blue orange corner doesn't match up with the blue red and Conversely, the blue orange and the blue red don't match there, so we know that we need to correct these two yellow corners. So we're going to do the corner swap algorithm, placing the two bad corners on the bottom end like so. And the corner swap algorithm is done with that side to the right, and it uses normal cube notation. So uh, up counter, right, up, front counter, up front, up counter, and then right two to rotate back. So you can see that we've corrected those two corners there. And next we're going to do a corner, three corner rotate. Um, basically we're going to rotate these three corners here. And I'm not rotating this one since it's already got the yellow on the yellow face. So I can see we're going to have to do this algorithm twice. And uh, the three ro corner rotate is up counter, right two, up, right, up counter, right, up, and then right two to rotate back. And we've done it once, and we return that corner back to the same spot. We're just going to do the algorithm again. And all the corners have been placed. And now's a good time to check and make sure the colors match up here as well. If you didn't do your corner swap algorithm properly, you'll see here. So next step is to place all the yellow edge pieces in. What we're going to do is actually knock out one of the white edge pieces which is okay. So we have an algorithm to put that back in. Okay. So we have the entire yellow side done and now we have the white side done, less this edge piece here. So we're going to do the white edge insert and in this case the white edge, we want that to be on this top layer here and so this will be the white edge right algorithm. Uh, notice that the left and the right are just mirrors of each other and I'm also using for the notation uh, an M for middle, an M will be uh, the middle going up like that and then an M uh, with the apostrophe there, M prime, that will be the middle coming down like this. So the white edge right algorithm will be up, middle up, up, middle up, up counter, middle down, up counter. And so you can see we put the final edge piece in there. Next step is to align our colors here getting the middles so that we have an H going across the sides and it might not be an H because of one of, the ro one of these edge pieces being rotated so next step is to check these edge pieces to find one that's in its correct spot we can see that the colors match here that this edge piece is in its correct spot so we don't want to rotate that one so we put that one to the back with 
an edge piece that is in its wrong spot, meaning that this will be rotated to the back here, that will be rotated there, that will be rotated to there. So that algorithm is the three edge swap, which is the middle up, and then up to, the middle down, and up to. So you can see that we fixed a uh, couple of them, and this one and this one are in the wrong spot. Right, they're in the right spot, but they have the wrong rotation on the edge piece. So we'll do a two edge rotate algorithm, but the two edge rotate algorithm will need to hit two that are on the same layer here. So a quick rotate there, we'll put them both here so that they can both be rotated. And that algorithm is middle up, up counter, middle up, up counter, middle up, up two. And then middle down, up counter, middle down, up counter, middle down, up two. And then we just have to fix our rotate there. And that's it. So any questions, uh, leave me some comments and feedback. And thanks for watching.